Hello guys, welcome back. Fahad Suman here. In this video, I am going to show you top 10 hidden features of Google Play Store. Not only are there great apps and widgets found in Google Play Store, but there are also plenty of tips and tricks you might not know. It actually has a few settings and configurations that can help you better manage your download, devices, purchases, and even your devices. So let's get started. Number 1. Update Play Store There is an easier way to get the update. You won't have to download a special APK or do anything crazy. I think you will be surprised at just how simple it is. The first thing you want to do is open the Play Store app and tap on the menu 3 line icon at the top left to open the list of options. Select settings from the slide out menu. Once you are in the settings, scroll all the way down and you will see Play Store version. All you have to do is tap on it. If there is a new version, you will then get a pop-up telling you a new version will be installed. The update may take a few minutes to install. So in this case, Google Play Store is already up to date. Number 2. Put the parental lock on Google Play Store. If you don't want your child or dependent downloading inappropriate apps on the Google Play Store, you can set up parental controls to prevent your Android device from being misused. Apps that could put them in danger like dating apps, spy apps or chats that give out their location. It's easy to put a parental lock on the Google Play Store. Tap on the menu icon, go into the settings and tap parental controls and hit the slider so it says on. From there you will be asked to create parental lock pin code. Once the restrictions are set, your child or dependent will need to enter your PIN code each time they try to download something that district. As they get older and are able to handle more content, you can go back in and change their privileges. Number 3. Early Access Apps Try new Android apps before they are officially released. To get user feedback, some developers make new apps or features available before they are officially released to the general public. You can try these apps or features by joining Early Access. Early Access apps are apps which have not been released yet. To find and join Early Access app, look for the link to Early Access at the end of the list where you see top charts and games. Find an app you want to get early access to and tap install. And the next is Indie Corner. Both big and small developers are important for Android system. The big developers are not struggling. It's the small developers who have difficulties. Part of the problem so is that it can be tricky to find independent apps. But now there is the Indie Corner in the Google Play Store. Indie Corner can't be found from within the Play Store. Open a web browser on your Android device and search for Indie Corner. Open the first link. Google Play Store will automatically open in Indie Corner. And you will see the list which is refreshed with new apps every month. Get beta versions of apps. Beta apps are new, experimental version of apps that are currently available on the Play Store. The beta version may have features that are not available in the public version yet. To check if an app has a beta version available, make sure you scroll down as this information could be at the bottom of the page. If it is available, become a beta tester, tap join, you will see notification on top, beta sign up in progress, it takes a few minutes. After few minutes, update it. To see a list of apps, you have the unreleased version of, tap main menu and then my apps and games. You will see a list of the apps you have early access or beta version of installed. Number 6. Stop adding icon to home screen. By default, every newly downloaded apps will be displayed on the home screen. Over the time, your home screen will be filled with many apps that can hardly to manage. 
To solve the problem, you can disable the auto add feature by following these steps. Open the Play Store app, tap on the menu icon, click on settings and uncheck the add icon to home screen box. Number 7. Get refunds on the Google Play Store. You can get refunds for Play Store purchases with a single tap, so long as you do it within 2 hours of buying the app. Once you have purchased an app, on its Play Store page you will see option to install or open. In addition, a refund option should appear to the left of it. Tap the refund button within 2 hours of your purchase to get your money back. If you notice that a child or dependent made this purchase without permission, you can always change their privilege. Just head into the Play Store, tap on the menu icon and hit settings. Google require authentication for purchases, then choose for all the purchases through Google Play on the device. Number 8. Add to wishlist. Do you know that you can add apps to a wishlist? It helps you keep track of the apps that you might want to buy one day, but not now. If you want to create your own wishlist, do it this way. Find the app that you have interested in getting. Tap on the plus banner at the right to include the app into your wishlist. Add app to wishlist. Once you have added app to your wishlist, you can access your list from within the Play Store app itself. To do that, tap on the menu three line icon at the top left and tap on my wishlist. Number 9. Manage all your apps in the Play Store. The Google Play Store has an area called My Apps and Games. From here you can look at which apps you have downloaded, which were preloaded and the apps that you need to update. This is an excellent place to manage your apps within the Play Store and getting to it so easy. Open the menu and tap on My Apps and Games. Now you should see a list of your installed apps. From here you can hit the button update all in the top right hand corner of your screen. You can monitor what you have downloaded and manage these apps. If you go into the All sections, you can see which apps were on your device and what could be removed. Number 10. Disable Updates Notification By default, Play Store will automatically update all your Android apps if there is a new version available. If you happen to have disabled that features but still receive notification telling you to update your apps, here is how you can totally disable these annoying notifications. Open Play Store app, go to settings and untick notifications. So I hope you will like this video and please click on the red subscribe button for more videos. Comment down below if you have any question, share this informative video with your friends and I will see you in the next one.